Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Keisha Miles. Keisha Miles was one of the first ones to send me this story, and I've been sent this story so many times. It's coming from our second favorite state, trifling ass Texas. So what's going on in Texas is causing all types of controversy all over the net and in the national media. So what happened is that there's a 27-year-old man named Conrad Barrett, and basically he's being charged with a federal hate crime for playing the knockout game. So what happened is that he knocked out a 79-year-old elderly black man, and he bragged about it to friends. He was shown the video around, and in his cell phone clip, he was heard using the N-word and saying that he was going to go out and go knock him out, a black person. Once the district attorney got a hold of this, they ended up pushing for him to be charged with a federal hate crime. The FBI is not so involved, and it's causing a lot of controversy. A lot of folks are pissed off online. A lot of white folks are screaming foul. They're saying that, you know, these black kids have been knocked out white people for as long as they can remember how come these black kids weren't charged with a hate crime why is he being charged with a hate crime so it's causing a lot of controversy and a lot of debate i'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip and i will come back with the rest of my commentary suspect conrad barrett headed back to jail following the judge's ruling of no bond it's what prosecutors wanted i got very passionate in there and argued very strenuously for him to be uh incarcerated pending trial because i think that we need to protect the public. Prosecutors say Barrett videotaped himself searching for a black man and then attacking the 79 year old. For about a week, he was hunting African Americans. Barrett's defense lawyer says his client was off his bipolar medicine at the time of the attack. We make no excuses for what occurred. In the neighborhood where the victim lives, his friend shared stories of a man who helped raise many of them. He's like the type of person that would shake your hand and and, you know, we want to get to know you. A very good man, a hard-working man. Local 2's legal analyst says defending Barrett will be an uphill battle. His own words are what will serve as the centerpiece of the prosecution's case against him. Prosecutors chose the hate crime charge because Barrett allegedly said he was going after victims because of their race. Federal hate crimes are designed to isolate those offenders who, by their words, deeds, and conduct, have made it clear that they have targeted a particular victim solely because of their race, creed, or ethnic background. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip. So first, let me start off by saying this. This man is 27 years old. If you are 27 years old and you are out here playing the knockout game, you truly need to reevaluate your life. If you are 27 years old and you get off on playing the knockout game, that means your life is just one big L. I mean, this makes no sense. Who the hell at 27 has time to run the streets looking for knockout victims? Bitch, get a job. Take care of your family. Get your life. And this goes out to anybody, black or white. You know, a lot of folks are saying that this is not, uh, this should not be considered a hate crime. But under the hate crime statute, because this man planned it out, he was using the N-word, and he was bragging about it. You know, he plotted this out to go out and knock a black person. That's why they're trying to charge him with a hate crime. What I also find funny about this case is that his defense attorney is already saying that it's mental illness. Really? Mental illness for knocking somebody out? It looks like to me, he was having a good time. He premeditated this and he wanted to do this. I have several videos I've made condemning black kids doing this. So it's no different when it's a white boy doing this. While I do find it funny that they're trying to make this a hate crime, because when the black kids was doing it, it wasn't a hate crime. But I think the reason why they're doing it is because of all the evidence and him bragging about it and him doing this premeditatedly. And I think with a lot of the black kids, they were just doing it on the spur of the moment. They were just walking past somebody and just knocking them out spur of the moment. But my thing is, like I always say, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If we're not going to start doing the hate crime thing, then the black kids who are out here knocking out white folks thinking it was funny, they should be charged with hate crime as well. You know, I think for me, the hate crime law needs to be applied equally and not when it's convenient. This to me is just a case of this kid being an asshole and going out his way to go knock out somebody. He needs to be locked up. Like I said earlier, if your goal in life is to go around knocking out black people or white people, you're a loser, point blank, period. All these folks playing the knockout game, they deserve to go to jail because there's nothing funny about this game. Folks are experiencing all types of medical bills, you know, all types of physical damage and injuries, and not because what? Because somebody decides to have some shits and giggles. There's nothing funny about this situation, and I'm frankly tired of folks out here continuously playing this game, and now they're starting to crack down, and folks are going to run up on the wrong person and once again lose their life because they want to play the knockout game.
No one deserves to be hit unexpectedly for no other reason than for somebody else's enjoyment and amusement. I mean, I just find this whole situation disturbing. I do find it hypocritical that they're so quick to charge him with a hate crime. Now, they're also saying that the guy, the black guy in Brooklyn, who had knocked out the Jewish man, that they're also charging him with a hate crime as well. So, it's going to be really interesting to see how this plays out. But I'm definitely not buying the whole mental illness defense. I'm, I'm tired of every time a white person does something, that's the first thing that the defense attorney wants to throw out is mental illness. But when it's a black kid doing the same thing, he's a thug, he's an animal, he's everything but a damn child of God but as soon as a white kid does the same thing it's mental illness I think anybody cop playing this game needs to be locked up black or white there's nothing funny about this this is not a game you guys are literally destroying people's lives by knocking them out unexpectedly this is not cool too many people have lost their lives behind this game and we need to put an end to it so let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Do you agree with them charging this man with a hate crime? Or do you feel like it's a double standard? And then how do you feel about the black kids who've been playing the knockout game, knocking out white people, and them, and most of them not being charged with any type of hate crime at all? So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. All right, deuces.